Hi friends, welcome to HDL Lectures. My name is Khadil. Today I am going to give you a demo lecture on CA Foundation Economics. If you find this video useful, please inform me through the command so that I will upload more videos on CA Foundations. So let us start with the first chapter unit 1 introduction nature and scope of business economics see here this chapter is very easy and there is very less that you can do here Be, uh, before watching this video I recommend you to watch my video on the playlist economics where I have uploaded some basic knowledge about the economics which will be very useful for your economic studies in this chapter especially what is economics and why economic studies positive and normative economics all this I have explained in the playlist of economics in my channel so please go through that now see economics was generally used in the ancient time itself but it was used as a subject separate subject only uh, in a recent time now let us see how the economics came into existence first one economics is a Greek word oikonomia which means household so the word economics is derived from Greek word oikonomia that means households so it is related to households that we are talking in economics generally and you can see that till 90th century economics was known as political economic it was not a separate subject from politics it was read with politics it was not a separate economics as it is in the current situation now who is known as father of economics Adam Smith there are some confusions uh, with the students that they sometimes feel that Alfred Marshall is the father of economics actually when you study some books there are some books saying that he is a father of economics but actually Adam Smith is a father of economics Alfred Marshall is a father of modern economics Alfred Marshall has modernized the economy but actually Adam Smith is known as father of economics he is the first person who wrote a book on economics this book is known as an inquiry into the nature and cause of wealth of nation in 1776 that means before 19th century he also believed that it is a political economics so Adam Smith was actually saying it is a political economics and he have written a book on economics that is an inquiry into the nature and cause of wealth of nation in 1776 which was shortly known as wealth of nation so we have studied here many things first one economics was derived from Greek word oikonomia that means household and it till 19th century it was known as political economics second point and third point the father of economics is Adam Smith and his book name an inquiry into the nature and cause of wealth of nation 1776 in this paragraph you have six points thing and after this you don't have to do anything with the other paragraph it is just for your understanding just giving some uh, examples and all now why we need to study about economics actually I have uploaded a video on why economic studies please go through that then you will understand more clearly see the economic came into existence because of economic problem when you have a problem you need a solution economics is considered as a solution for the economic problem what is that problem the main problem in the economy is a scarcity scarcity so whenever you talk about economy you are talking you are taking into consideration the scarce resources here two fundamental fact you can see that 
two fundamental fact to why economy came into existence this is a two important point of scarcity unlimited wants and means to satisfy this are relatively scarce that means limited resources unlimited wants but you have limited resources so we call an item as a scarce resources when we have limited quantity of that item and for that limited quantity we have unlimited wants for example in my class if there are 20 students and i have only 10 chocolates so the resource the chocolate with me is limited i have only limited resources but i have more than the uh, chocolate i have the requirement that means i have unlimited wants so when i have limited resources and i have unlimited wants then i call it as a scarce resources this is a fundamental reason why economy came into existence and one more thing you have to understand here is that we are not talking about the absolute scarcity in the economy that we will not consider in the economic studies we are considering about the relative scarcity what is the difference between relative scarcity and absolute scarcity absolute scarcity is something that the economy as a whole is having the problem that means we have a limited petroleum in the world we have limited water in the world we have limited resources which is not within our control or we don't have any control over those resources but relative scarcity is something related to the household we when we talk about the scarcity we are taking into consideration one or two individuals and we are giving a relative comparisons of their resources with their wants that is what we are talking in the economics we are not talking about the absolute scarcity but we are talking about the relative scarcity that means we are relating an individual's limited resources to their unlimited ones now now definition of business economics before that let us go here see business economics also referred to as managerial economics generally referred to the integration of economic theory with the business practice see in economics we are just talking about the theories we are talking about the consumer theory producers theory market theory and all these are theories when we use this theory in a business then we call it as business economics so it uh, business economics is a practical economic or we can say that it is an applied economics here underline it is an applied economics that fills the gap between economic theory and business practice that's enough now definition of business economics what is the definition of business economics we have already studied it is an integration of economic theory into business practice i don't think anything more is required just underline who have introduced this Joel Dan, he is the proponder of business economics. The next one is nature of business economics. The subject matter of economics can be divided into two. I think you all know about this micro and macro economics. Economic can be studied in two frames that is, micro level or in macro level. When you study about economics in a micro level, or we study an economic system of an individual unit in an economy you call it as microeconomics that means if you are studying about a consumer a producer an industry then we call it as microeconomics macroeconomics is something which is wider than microeconomics when we talk about the employment when we talk about the poverty when we talk about the economic growth when we talk about the foreign exchange these all are not within the control of individual economic system but it is considered as a world when it is considered as a world then we consider it as a macroeconomics let us go for the examples then you will understand more microeconomics basically studies the behavior of different individuals and organizations 
this we are talking about the individuals and organization in macroeconomics studies the overall economic phenomenon economy as a whole that is a different here you are studying about the whole economy here you are taking the individual unit of the economy these examples are very important product pricing product pricing when when a firm is pricing the product then it is a microeconomic study consumer behavior consumer is one of the unit in an economy so we call it as microeconomic study factor pricing what is a factor pricing factors means there are only four factors land labor capital and entrepreneur so this price fixing fixing of land labor capital and entrepreneurs this is a part of microeconomy economic condition of a section of a people a section a section means it it is one of the small unit of an economy so we are talking about the microeconomics behavior of firms is a part of microeconomics location of industry all this is a part of microeconomics what is macroeconomics macroeconomics is something that we don't understand national income national output general price level interest rate balance of trade balance of payment value of currency savings and investment employment economic growth all these are something which is wider sense or which is studied as a whole economic growth and all this is a part of country so we will be studying it as a country level but behavior of a consumer or behavior of a firm can be studied in individual level also if you are a company you want to know about a consumer then you will be considering some of the consumers and you will be collecting data this is a microeconomic study okay let us go to the nature of business economics nature of business economics first one it is a science that means when we call a product as a science which establishes cause and effect relationship in business economics we are having economic theories and using these theories we are considering what is the cause and what is the effect in the economy so it is a study of science business economics is a science we can know it as a science next one it's a micro based on microeconomics business economy is basically microeconomics because everything is related to individual units like consumers firms market all this part of microeconomic study so this is a microeconomic study generally but 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 incorporates element of macroeconomics also even though we are using the microeconomics largely in the business economics you have to consider some of the elements of macroeconomics also like uh, let's take the example this product pricing is a microeconomic study this have to do by the business business have to fix the price and the consumer behavior they have to study so it is also microeconomics but factor pricing all this is a part of microeconomy and this is all the major portion that is done by a business so business economics includes major portion of a microeconomics however it also have some of the element which is affecting the business such as like interest rate interest rate is affecting the business because they have to take the loan and they have to uh, collect fund from the bank so there uh, there will be some effect in the business if there is a change in macroeconomics also so you have to take into consideration certain macroeconomic elements also into the business so it includes some of the portions of macroeconomics see this uh, macroeconomics is external environment but it is affecting us affected by the external environment see like the exchange rate price distribution wages and regulation of monopolies uh, government taxation rules and all this will be affecting the business so it is a macroeconomic element also next one is an art see it includes science it is an art but it is studied in the commerce 
so it is a science it is an art now why we call it as an art because it is a practical application art is something which is a practical application like dance dance is an art dance is considered as an art because it is practically done right so art is something which is practical application so business economics also we can say that it is an art see it uses theory of market and private enterprises this you will understand when you study the uh, chapter market uh, here we have to use the market and private uh, enterprises if you are in a monopoly economy if you are in a uh, perfect competitive economy all this you have to consider that in which market you are standing based on that only you will be having the benefit and the demerits all this will be based on the market the market will be having some benefits market will be having some loopholes and limitations all this will be affecting you so you have to study about the theory of market and private enterprises the next one pragmatic it is pragmatic pragmatic means practical rather than theoretical we have already stated it is an art the same way you can say that it is a pragmatic it is not just a theory subject economics is a theory subject but business economics is a pragmatic because it have some applications in the business so it is pragmatic practical interdisciplinary in nature what is interdisciplinary in nature means even though we disciplinary means subject discipline means subject this uh, business is a subject uh, accounting is a subject your bck is a subject all this known as discipline so this uh, in the business economics you have to study about different subject not just the economic like you will have some mathematical applications you will have operational research managerial theory accounting marketing finance status etc all this so business economics is not just an economic subject but it have interdisciplinary nature it it have many subject involved in it that is what mean by interdisciplinary normative see in order to understand what is a normative please go to my video on positive and normative economy which i have added in my playlist economics normative in nature normative means see positive and normative economics positive economics is something about the fact but normative economics is a judgmental item or positive economics is a question of what is however normative economics is something what should be it is futuristic it is something we are talking about uh, an item which will be done or which is going to be happening so that is a normative we are having a judgment nature in business economics please uh, go to my video which will be more effective if you watch that's it all these natures are over let us discuss once again see first one it is science because we have a cause and effect relationship here second one it is a microeconomics largely microeconomics but includes some elements of macroeconomics also okay then next one it is an art because it is a practical application not just the theoretical application next one theory of market is involved here that that is a part of my business economics and it is a pragmatic and disciplinary interdisciplinary in nature it is not just one subject it have many subject involved in it and it is a normative it is not just a, a talking but we are having a judgment decision making involved here and we are just actually involving in the situation and we are talking about whether we have a desire desired effect on our decision or not all this will be done in a normative next one is a scope of business economics scope of business economics is also see this is all repeating can be divided into microeconomics and macroeconomics microeconomics means applied to operational and internal issues when we talk about internal issues like product pricing 
is a microeconomic it is an internal issue you have to fix the price but macroeconomics something external issues like interest rate you cannot control this interest rate this is a part of macroeconomics so scope of business economics is also divided into micro and macro which we have already discussed but let us go to the heading just underline the heading demand analysis and forecasting you have to analysis the demand and and you have to fix what is the uh, demand which is going to come in the next month the next week or next year all this you have will be forecasting so it is a micro economics next one production and cost it is also micro economics it is within your control you have to fix the how much you are going to produce and what will be the per unit cost and what will be the total cost all this will be analyzed by you so it is a micro economics inventory management it is also within your control so you can manage your inventory market structure and pricing policy according to the market you have to fix the price and your market in your market you have some influence in the market so you have to if you are a monopoly you are the market and then you will have the control over the market if you are a perfect competitive market you have to take the market price and you have to uh, adopt to the that market and all this will be within your control it is a microeconomical study next one resource allocation if you have some cash or if you have some resources then it have it should be allocated in the best manner see these all adding all addings are more than sufficient and next one theory of capital and investment decision what is your capital what is your investment decision all this is your controlling area profit analysis you have to analyze the profit the risk uncertainty analysis you have some risk involved you are not always in the profit you might have some loss and all this have to be analyzed so this is all what you study in business economics now macroeconomics all those things which you don't understand like economic system there are three economic system that we'll study in the next unit if you want uh, that is a capitalist economy socialist economy and a mixed economy this is a economic system so you have to know in which economic system you are in according to that you have to take the decision then stage of business cycle you have a chapter the last chapter which is a uh, known as business cycle in that you can say that there are five stages so you have to know your economy where is your economy is it in the boom or is it in the recession period so you have to take decision according to that so it is not within your control you have to know what is the economic system and you have to take decision accordingly external to your external to your organization national income it is not within your control but national income is a in national income your income is also included so it is a decision making point employment price savings etc all these are part of macroeconomics so government policies when the bjp government came into existence they have changed uh, gst and all this so there are some changes in the government policies when there is a change in government and all this may be affecting your business in a positive or negative manner so you have to take into consideration those those government policies and capital market financial market all this uh, trade unions producers consumers union all this social and social political environment i think this chapter is very easy we have almost completed uh, this topic see let us discuss from the beginning first we have studied about what is economics here we have gone for the uh, only this first paragraph political economics adam smith his book name and all this and after that you have to go to the scarcity scarcity means relative scarcity we are talking limited resources and unlimited wants and after that we have gone to page number five where we have studied about the business economics business economics is an application of the economic theory into the practical business and after that we have gone to the branch of economics or subject matter of economics which is micro and macro micro means something you are studying in the individual basis like which is within your control or which is within your near nearest area that is a 
product pricing consumer price uh, behavior and all this a part of microeconomics macroeconomics is something which is uh, out of your control like uh, interest rate uh, national income foreign currency etc and after that we have gone for the nat nature of business economics nature of business economic first one it is a science then it is a microeconomics largely but uh, it includes some of the elements of macroeconomics also and uh, is an art because it is a practical application and use of market theory and private enterprises pragmatic means practical uh, interdisciplinary it, it have more than one subject into it and last one is a normative after that we have gone for the scope of business economics there also we have studied about the micro and macro economics scope of uh, business economics divided into micro and macro micro means something internal issues macro means external issues internal issues means within your control like demand analysis and forecast production and cost analysis inventory management market structure and pricing policies resource allocations theory of capital and investment profit analysis risk and uncertainties all this then macro economics something which is not within your control like economic system business cycle national income and all this part of macroeconomics hope you all understood thank you thanks for watching if you want other videos also please comment and please support my channel so i will be uploading more videos thank you thanks for watching